Oh, we have one more person today. Been up here once. Live in this area, if you don't know who Brian Moran is, there's something wrong with him. Been athletic director, he's a football coach here for 26 years. Uh, there's been articles written about him, and there's a lot of statistics that I could go into. I will only go into a few, and we're going to have him speak for a few minutes. By the way, any of those players from that team, there is a plaque for you over here with Stevie Sims. If you want to pick one up, we'll get them to him by mail or whatever. He's obviously the winningest coach, 203 wins in 20. 26 years, 76 percentage, is Section 5, 14 Section 5 titles, an unbelievable 19 of his 26 teams were state ranked at the conclusion of the season, 11 of those 19 ranked teams finishing in the top. Now here's the one that gets me as an old football coach. He had 10 regular season undefeated seasons. That's two times more than the entire number of undefeated seasons in the history of Leroy football. But there were five. Prior to this, he has ten. Now, in the old days, they didn't have sectionals and that stuff, so they ended the season at the end of the regular season. And a couple of times, they lose in the playoffs. But that's an unbelievable record that will never be matched unless this building comes down or something other bizarre happens. He's been a great mentor to a lot of people, a lot of coaches, a lot of players. I've known him since he was, uh, was in second grade, probably. And his dad was a equipment salesman that came over here and saved us from wearing, I was wearing John Tabone's pads, that's how long ago. And his dad came over and gave us plastic helmets and plastic pads, so I've been a fan of Moran's my whole life. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce the guy who, where the, the athletic facility here is named Hartwood Park. And my honest, sincere desire is that it will be Brian Moran Field at Hartwood Park. If these people get their heads out of their you know where and do the right thing. Brian, get up.
my high school roommate. Really appreciate it. Two one two. My high school friend. Appreciate it. Bitch to be old, isn't it? <laughs> George. Where George? Tell you what. Wish I was there to see that tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> I went 20 years, 26 years coaching football. I had one flag, and I saw that in the newspaper. Somebody told me, like two days later, George got a technical. I said, no, that couldn't be true. That baby, not George. But, uh, there's a lot of great people up here. I've had a lot of great memories uh, from everybody. And it's truly a blessing as I, as I get older to think about everything and think about where we are. It's a long tradition here playing football. It will continue, and I'm just really glad to be a little part of it. Thank you all very much, and I truly appreciate it.